Hello, so you have purchased your app icon set um, and you are ready to roll. You are wanting to probably get these icons laid out um, and make your home screen the aesthetic that you would like it to be. But there are a couple things you have to do first. You just have to download those files. Um, you'll follow the same process each time you click into each one of the files. Uh, so it's really not too hard um, to get these files into your camera roll. Um, but I'm going to show you the process how to do that. So you are going to start in your email. So you should have received a purchase um, confirmation from Etsy telling you how much you spent, what you bought, so on and so forth. You're going to scroll down here and view your files on Etsy. So it's going to be very, very important that you do not click into the Etsy app. So it might prompt you, don't do it, just stay on the browser. So Safari or Chrome, uh, whichever you're using. All right, so from view your files on Etsy, you are going to click into the download now or the way I'm gonna show you, just cause it's consistent. Um, you can get to it anytime you're on your profile. Go to purchases and reviews. So again, do not use the app. You cannot download files on the app for whatever reason on Etsy. So here is where you can review and you can access your files. The way that you are going to do this is clicking on your order. Okay, and here are um, the details of it. You can click download files in the upper right hand corner or you can click download files on that black button. It'll take you to the same spot. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm gonna click the black button. So it was a really large file upload because remember there are all sorts of icons. There's like 1300 uh, options in this set that you just purchased. So you are going to want to click onto this PDF. So Etsy has a restriction on how big of files you can add. So sometimes you'll see zipped files right in there. You're just going to take this little extra step. It's all listed out on the PDF. So they're still there for you. Click on it, download and you can open in downloads or files, doesn't matter. Okay, so you're gonna see what you just downloaded. This is your cashmere app cover, um, kind of PDF that puts all of them listed out for you. Uh, you can see the different zip files, so they contain all these items. All right, so you are just gonna click into each one. Maybe you don't want any of the wallpapers, so you skip over that one, you just do you unzip those three files instead of four. If you want all of them, awesome. You're just gonna repeat the process. So I'm gonna start by going into the logo icons just cause it's the biggest one. So you'll see um, kind of how to do it all. <laughs> so click on that first zip file. So remember this is going to contain all the app logo icons in four colors and two text colors. So click on them going to take you to OneDrive. You don't have to have OneDrive for it to work. Uh, this is just where I house it for you guys. Okay, and from there, just download. And then open in, open in downloads. Okay, so now you see uh, where it says zipped cashmere. You just, all you have to do to unzip this file, remember this is that first bullet on the PDF, all you have to do to unzip this file is click it and right next to it will pop up a little blue folder icon. If you click into him, then you're gonna see all those zip files for each of the icon colors that I told you about. Um, so this very first one, for instance, if you click on him, unzip, uh, that is going to be the brown ones, the brown icons. Uh, then you're just gonna kind of repeat that. Click each zip file, blue folder will pop up next to him. Okay. All right, so now you should have six blue files available. Those are unzipped files. Uh, when you click into those, you are going to be able to see what you purchased. So like I said, this is the brown icon folder. So you can see all your different icons in there. Um, they're all named so you know what they are. Uh, from this point, if you want to save them to your photos, you are just gonna come up to select in that top right hand corner, those three buttons, um, three dots. 
select and then you can just drag your finger if you want all of them just drag them all uh if there's ones that you know you don't want so you don't even want to put them in your camera roll so you don't have to worry about them so say i don't have bumble and i'm never gonna have bumble i don't know you can just skip over it and then keep dragging to the ones you do want okay so i could put all 164 items um select it on there or I could just click three I could click one it doesn't matter um I am going to then go to the bottom left hand corner where that little upload button is all you're gonna do is sit, uh, go to save 23 images right there or however many images you selected okay so now they are saved and you can go to your photos and see them there. So those are some pictures I took yesterday. And those are the 23 photos I just saved of the 164 brown icons. Uh, so then you'll just basically repeat that and go into whichever one. So this one is going to be, oh, I'm not even sure. We'll see. The gray ones. So you would, again, do the same thing. Dots. Select whichever ones you want. Okay. Upload. Save 12 images this time. And that's how you're going to put those um, icons into your photo gallery. And that's where you're going to be able to put them into shortcuts and customize your home screen. So remember, if you want more of these files, so that was just that first bullet point. You can come in here for the lettered icons if you want lettered icons. If you want the wallpapers, you do the same thing. Click on it. download it open in, open in downloads and then here you see that next um, zip folder that you downloaded you can come in here do the same thing you did before you can save them to camera roll so I um, should be done um, or <laughs> if you have more to do still after that point, you're just saving those to your camera roll, uh, making them from the files that you downloaded into accessible camera roll photos, images, PNG images, um, to be made into your customized home screen. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, of course, feel feel free to reach out to me on Etsy and I can uh, kind of try to walk you through whatever step is tripping you up. And um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoy these icons. Um, I'd enjoyed making them for you. So without further ado, good luck. Um, if you want to share your home screen with me when you're done, uh, feel free to tag me on social media at uh, Pencil and Palm. All right, have a good one.